looking good. It's 70s night in Arizona. Bottom one, no score. Jay Bale facing Harnish, not staying in the building. 38 homers last year, Ravi. Nine this year for Jay Bell. He's, he opened his stance also a few years ago, and you see what happened. Uh, Mike Morgan is Forrest Gump, by the way. Wherever he goes, <laughs> amazing things seem to happen. And here he is. He's hitting over 300. He's about 60 years old. And Pete Harnish coming back first start, uh, struggling again. Way to play along, though, with the 70s night, getting Gump in the show, Timmy. Excellent. 4-2 Reds. Runs come across. That right in two. And now Larkin. Up the middle it goes. Bell trying to get the force. It's safe. Pokey Reese tries to score from second. Done. Looked as if Reese thought about it a little too long. Take a look. Hesitation. Hesitate. Now he's waved. He'd have made it if he hadn't stopped running. Exactly. Run, run till your manager stops you. Top of the eighth. Reds up 4-2. Trying to add to it. The man on third. Boone to, to right. And Dante. Hesitation doesn't matter there. The Reds on top of the Diamondbacks by a score of 5-2. Oh, by the way, Dante Bichette has absolutely been on a tear since May 20th, 378. He is three for four in this one, a double. Now to Arizona. We've also seen a lot of walks, a lot of wildness. There's another one from Dennis Reyes. And Jay Bell, who earlier hit a home run, gets waved in. Reds on top of the D-backs, five to three now in the bottom of the eighth inning. And uh, we got our eyes on this one. Man on second right now. So. We Speaking of Astros departed, Luis Gonzalez, a one-time member of that club, on third, Danny, oh no. Danny Graves lets a pitch get away. Gonzalez would touch home. No, not a home run, <laughs> but it is a run. Travis Lee, after Finley had struck out, goes to center field, caught by Demito. <laughs> Much maligned, comes through with a nice grab. Registered 3-2 on the Richter scale as well. Great play by Dimitri Young. Junior 0 for 4. Missed a chance to become the fifth red to hit 13 homers in one calendar month. The D-backs only their eighth home loss in their last 30 tries. You know, don't they say there's always a first time for everything? The Reds haven't done much jumping out on top, but Dante Bichette is really hitting the pill. A two-run shot after Junior got hit. Osvaldo Fernandez staked to a 2-0 lead, but he was already down 3-2 in the third. Two aboard, Steve Finley having a monster year, his 23rd dong suddenly 6-2 Zona. It was 7-2 in the fourth when Aaron Boone pulled one down the line. This will stay just fair enough to hit the pole, his 11th, 7-3. D-backs added two more before Michael Tucker would get him back in the fifth. Gapper going to right center wall. Chris Stein's going to score easily from second. Manny Ibar, not used to running from first, will beat the throw with a jump. Tucker later scored, making it 9-6. Bottom of the frame, Ibar plunking Tony Womack in retaliation, immediately ejected. Todd Stottlemyre just feeling left out, so he begins screaming match with Manny. Nothing happens. Pokey left the game after getting hit in the hand. Junior left after twisting his knee. Dimitri left standing by Byung Hung Kim. 9-6 the final. Hockey 150. Just a moment, but first, let's go to the day on the diamond. They began the day nine and a half games back at the cards. Pokey Reese on the bench with a bad hand. Griffey back in center field after angrily being yanked yesterday with a twisted knee. And the rest of the squad suffering from wounded pride. But they played like wounded animals in the first. One in, one on. Dante Bichette, he's hot. Nearly raised his average to 300. Brings Larkin in for a two-zip lead. Then with two on and two out, Alex Ochoa. Spot start. Dead red on a fastball to the gap. Bichette's going to score. Booney going to come around to score. It was five zip in the first. And then in the second, Booney's big day. Lines went up the middle. Steins is going to score. Larkin's going to score. The captain was four for four. It was seven zip for Negs. Then in the fourth, Booney, big day. Two run shot with Bichette in front of a nine nothing. Haven't seen this barrage all year long. Even Denny Nagel had two hits to go along with seven innings of two run ball. Kind of needed that. Ending the threat there, and Andy Larkin called up from AAA to replace an injured Manny Ibar. Hope this is a sign of things to come. Red score two TDs. It's the most ever in Bank One ballpark for an opponent. 14-2, your final. Boone, Steins, Ochoa each had three hits. Finished with a season-high 20 off six pitchers. Dimitri and Santiago, the only starters to go hitless. Finishing four with the Reds at Bob. Top one, Ken Griffey Jr. facing Brian Anderson and Tony Womack. He is hustling, and that is a great play. Anderson
Anderson escapes. We're giving up just one in the first. Steve Parrish, three and 11 coming in. It's J Bell swinging. Luis Gonzalez, he too misses. Parrish, six and two thirds, six Ks, one earned run. Brian Anderson picking off. Dimitri Young, third pick off of the year for Anderson. Two pitches later, Alex Ochoa. This one, Tony Womack cannot get to, nor can Logo. So what would have been a two-run homer is a solo homer. The Reds lead at 2-0 on Ochoa's fourth. Bottom seven, D-backs trail 3-0. It's so threatening. That's ball four to Greg Colburn. Benito Santiago throws down. That guy's not to worry about. But Damian Miller is taken off from third. I know third base coach Brian Butterfield did not send him. We take another look because, well, Usually you don't see this kind of boneheadedness out of a Wisconsin native, but yes, the costly mistake in the hot box, but not for long. Tagged out, and the Reds hold on to win by a run, 3-2. Cincinnati improves to 9-1 all-time in Arizona. Why build that new ballpark? They should just lease Bob. Anderson loses at home for the first time since September 18th of 1998, snapping a streak of 20 starts and 12 wins. Red